the American Zionist Council. And JFK had made it clear that the American Zionist Council would have to be registered as a foreign agent because it talked about this. And the agenda of the American Zionist Council as APAC is not in the interest of America at all. I don't know why anybody would believe that. And then you go see Trump kiss ass to fucking APAC the other day as well, which should tell you a lot if you're placing faith that that guy is a white horse savior. And he was insisting that the American Zionist Council be registered as a foreign agent. He basically would have castrated the power of the American Zionist Council APAC. And I've actually read a really interesting historical dialogue between Bobby Kennedy, the Attorney General at the time, and the American Zionist Council. And the initial dictate came down from the President that, you know, you're going to have to register as a foreign agent. And what happened over the course of a little over a year was basic lawyer tactics, in this case, Jewish lawyer tactics of delay. Delay, technicality, delay, delay, delay. delay. So this dialogue occurred between the Attorney General, Bobby Kennedy, and the American Zionist Council, and delay, 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 delay. And it finally got to like the last stage of delay. Like finally you've extended all of your bullshit lawyer tactics, and now you're going to have to actually face registering as a foreign agent, the end of the American Zionist Council's power. And guess what happened within a month of that? Kennedy was dead. That's not the only thing, though. That's just one of the things. Kennedy was, uh, uh, was threatening to abolish the CIA, of course. You know, are we all, I mean, how many of us think the CIA is actually serving American interests? Is this good for us? You know, there's good people in there. I know that it's not all bad, but, you know, the black ops in particular, the, the budgets derived from the poppy crops that we protected uh, in Afghanistan so that we can fucking flood the, the world with heroin and take that money and give it into the fucking hands of these bastards. Uh, you know, he was getting ready to abolish the CIA, and that's pretty dangerous too. Um, he was also insisting that uh, Demona, the nuclear power plant in Israel, be inspected. We've heard a lot about inspections of the uh, Iranian nuclear power plants. Kennedy was insisting that Demona be inspected. If you know a little bit about the history of that, it was stolen American technology with traitors inside the United States. It was basically handed to the French and ultimately handed to the Israelis. And it was that technology that was used at the Mona to produce the roughly two to 400 nuclear weapons that Israel now holds. If Kennedy had been successful, that power plant would have been inspected and we would have two to 400 less nuclear weapons in the hands of Israel today. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. If, if Kennedy hadn't been killed, uh, APAC wouldn't be what it is today. And you wouldn't have every politician, you have to give Bernie credit, but see, he is Jewish now. See, they could give him a pass now, couldn't they? Because like, basically, if you want to be a high-level politician in this country, you've got to go kiss APAC's ass. That's the bottom line. Tell me a fucking president who hasn't kissed APAC's ass. Pretty much all the Congress and the Senate all kiss APAC's ass. But apparently Bernie can get away with it. And I cannot discount the fact that he is Jewish. So 